Hello and welcome to my channel, House of Gemini. Today I will be doing a thread up unboxing video on the 15 piece jewelry set. So um, here it is. I took it out of the box, but I haven't peeked. Still in the tissue. Here's the first look. What do you see inside? Anything good? Let's hope so. I can't quite make it out there. I actually am gonna need my reading glasses. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I can see a little better. Um, it says silver 925 bracelet. It's got some little crystals or stones inside. You know, I thought I had ordered a testing kit from Amazon to test things for silver and gold. And I actually never did. I ordered a bunch of other supplies. I got my little um, loop, which I don't have handy. Ring sizer, in case I needed it. But I didn't order the gold testing kit like I had thought, so I do need to get that ordered. But the holidays and such, I'm not in a rush, just because um, there's so much activity out there. This looks like a Kendra Scott necklace. It's a little druzy. Oh, it looks like Kendra Scott. This is her style, but it's actually, um, bubble bar, a little juicy necklace. Very dainty and pretty. All right. How are you guys doing today? Do you have all your holiday? Shopping done, all your last minute errands complete. I feel like there's always something that comes up that I forgot. Here we've got a necklace, um, metallic kind of a bead with some intertwined like crystals. Kind of remind me of X's and O's um, because there's two of these pieces that intersect and then a ball. So that kind of reminds me of X's and O's and it's loft. So, you know, that could spruce up somebody's holiday outfit. And it looks like a gunmetal finish. And we've got some Kate Spade, which I normally like. Oh, this is cute. I mean, it's in used condition. Still cute. Arm candy. <laughs> This might be the only arm candy I have for a while, folks. Silly. Silly me, right? Ooh, this is this is a good one. By the way, this is from Arizona, Phoenix. I've done a couple of these already, and um, I thought the one was gonna be really good because I thought maybe it had some designer pieces in it. I don't think it was designer and I haven't been able to test for silver just because um, I didn't get the kit. So here's a Judith Ripka piece. Oh, beautiful. It's dirty. And there's probably counterfeits out there, so I'll have to look online to see to make sure. There's some tarnishing on the back. It's Pretty. Fingers crossed that it's authentic. Kendra Scott in the bag. Love that. Just a nice little bonus. I've had these exact earrings before and I've sold them on my page. I don't remember how much I sold them for, but um, these are fun for summer. Yeah, cute. I love this. This is a Kate Spade. Um, open clasp bracelet and it's a pig and a pearl so when pigs fly <laughs> she's just so clever rest in peace kate spade but yeah that's cute i love this this is a kate spade um open clasp bracelet and it's a pig and a pearl so when pigs fly <laughs> she's just so clever rest in peace kate spade but yeah that's cute. Mm, it's plastic, I think. 
plastic beads. Mia Sophia. That's pretty. You know, this gives me the boho vibes. Very um, fun for spring and summer. I definitely see this with like a dress and yeah. That's, I have a lot of these in my closet. Most of mine are in really good shape. This one looks to be worn on the inside. I see some scratching. It's a Kate Spade bangle. Cubic zirconia is there. Cute. I just sold mine that was in really excellent condition, like new almost for $17. But I wanted it gone, you know, ready to move the inventory through. I don't see a maker's mark. And um, the ring is quite scratched up, but the top part itself is really beautiful. I don't know if you bother. People don't like to buy. I don't think people like to buy jewelry that's in that kind of condition. It's it's quite beautiful. The stone looks like a quartz. It catches the light beautifully. It's a shame. Do you guys have any trip tips or tricks to uh, spruce up jewelry like that? I just, if they're in really bad shape, I just throw them away. What can you do? Like a bangle that's really badly tarnished. What do you do? This isn't, this is exactly what I mean. Like it shows signs of wear, discoloration on it. It's a Kate Spade, I believe, and it says heart of gold. And it's just a gold bangle, but it's, you know, when it gets wet or whatever, there's little spots on it and scrapes. What do you do? Like this isn't, this is exactly what I mean. Like it shows signs of wear, discoloration on it. It's a Kate Spade, I believe, and it says heart of gold. And it's just a gold bangle, but it's, you know, when it gets wet or whatever, there's little spots on it and scrapes. This necklace, which is missing a piece of something here, maybe. It's too bad. It's a Kate Spade. Maybe this just came unhooked which could be the case. Yeah, maybe I just need to clasp that down. It does show some signs of wear, but it is a beautiful piece, especially for um, spring, summer, vacation vibes. And how closely do people look at your costume jewelry? I mean, it's costume, right? It's not. Diamonds and gold and platinum. It's not that stuff. Of course, watch. It's got some scraping on the face. It's a pretty gold and then it's scraped up on the back. Not much to be done about that, unfortunately. It has an adjustable band, which is nice. I don't know if I can, no. I can't get it on the way it is. I'm gonna have to tinker around with it to have, have it sized. Well, I don't know. What do you guys do with those watches? I mean, some watches you can replace the battery and they're fine and, and they will sell, but others you just can't do anything with them. I have a bunch of watches here that I need to replace the batteries on. They were brand new in, in the box or with tags and then um, turned out they needed a battery. This last piece, I think that was the last one. Oh, one more. This is J. Crew. Kind of fun. Again, um, vacation vibes, kind of bohemian. This rope piece. Seems like maybe it was something added. Now that I look more closely at it, it's got some scraping along the brass. But you know, maybe somebody can repurpose that. This rope that's there really cheapens the look. I can't imagine that J. Crew actually made it like this. I'm thinking maybe somebody already tried to repurpose this thing. Well, I'll just have to look it up online and see. One more thing. I'm hoping this is the grand finale. Hoping it's something good. I know you're all 
on edge to see what it is. Oh, bummer. I was hoping this was um, silver. It's not marked, it's made well. So when I said bummer, it's because I saw made well. So it's, I, I'm 100% certain it's not sterling silver, but it, it looks like a beautiful silver. What are these called? Herringbone necklace, choker style. Maybe somebody would pick that up. It is pretty, but it's not marked. I'm pretty certain, like I said, 100% certain it, it's not um, silver. Well, that's that. That's the end of that box. What do you think? I think it was all right. I had some decent pieces. A lot of the stuff was, you know, tarnished and, and I don't even call that tarnishing because tarnishing on um, like real silver or brass can be um, cleaned up with a little bit of elbow grease and a little um, product. Then on costume jewelry, and this is where Thread Up needs to listen here. Are you listening, Thread Up? On costume jewelry, when it looks tarnished and worn, you can't fix that. There's no going back from that. And if you know something that I don't, please let me know because once it's worn through and the brass is worn away or the gold plate or whatever, there's there's no turning back unless you get your handy dandy spray can out and spray paint everything, but who wants that? I mean, maybe I guess I'd wear that. Let my daughter play with it, but she probably wouldn't even want it. Anyways, I think my favorite piece, if it's real, is this Judith Ripka piece. And the only reason I say that is because on the back side, it's either tarnished and I can't tell or the gold or the silver plate is coming off. I don't know. That's weird. I don't think it'll pick it up, but it is pretty. A uh, Google lens will indicate to me if there's others like this out there. Um, I have some Judith Ripka pieces myself that I picked up along the way, but um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of fakes out there and the the stones look quite dirty. So I'll have to clean this up and see and get that tested. But most of this I would say is junk, garbage. Maybe that first thing is something, but I, I don't know. It says that it was silver, but I don't think that the stones are anything. Darden Jeweler, Jewelers. It came in a fancy box. I'm on a little frenzy of videos today. I just changed my spot. I was previously at the window, so thanks so much for following uh, along. And uh, yeah, it's Christmas. It's the Eve before Christmas Eve, and I wish you all a very happy holiday and Merry Christmas to you.